Good. Oh, you're using your tool. Good. There's a couple things I have to uh, just stay, state for the record, and then I'll ask you for your information. Okay. Okay. Today's date is 5-19-2021. Final statement is 16-07 hours. State, tape statement being conducted at the Boston Township Police Headquarters in reference to domestic out at 1501 Old Black Horse Pike Apartment C. Uh, in reference to a domestic violence incident. Uh, taking the tape statement is myself, Detective Ritz. Also present is Detective Wallace. Um, case number for the incident is 2021-24013. Uh, sir, for the record, can you state your full name for me? Louis M. Velasquez, Jr. And can you spell the last bits for me? V as in Victor, E-L-A-Z-Q-U-E-Z. -E Z. Z? Yes. And do you have a phone number, Louis? 267. 974. Two six nine seven. Two six nine seven. Right, Lewis, you're just being interviewed as a witness today, correct? Yes. Right. You have an email address? Uh, yes. First name. I mean, first letter. L. Last name. Zero five two seven at S A S I. 215.org to my work email. Gotcha. All right. All right, Lewis. Um, in your own words, can you explain uh, what occurred today out at this apartment um, and who it involved? Well, and why police the involved? incident was involved with Jasmine Robinson and Mark Warren Washington. All right. Who were they to you? Uh, Jasmine is like my little sister. Me and her brother have been best friends since I was about 14 years old. Okay. So, you know, that family kind of adopted me since then. Right, so you're not biological no. brother and sister? No, not at all. Okay. And um, Jasmine asked me to stay because she feared for her life, because she's been wanting to leave, and he hasn't been letting her. And when did you stay there? Uh, the past couple nights. Okay. And so, you know, it's coming down to it. She's already went and got the storage unit. You know, it's coming down to the day where the lease is supposed to end, which is tomorrow. Okay. And she, we started packing the stuff to take it out, and he didn't like that. Then he goes on about how they're not in a relationship and how... She's not going to leave him. If she leaves him, he's going to kill her. Now, are we talking, are they talking civil, like me and you right now, or are they, no. are they yelling at each Yelling other? back and forth, room to room. She keeps going in the bathroom, locking herself in because he keeps following her and getting in her face. I keep pushing it out of her face. She's been constantly trying to leave, and it just dwelled down to them fighting today from what I've heard. You know, they've had past altercations to where the cops were called out. But, yeah, I don't know what the hell their problem is. Why can't people just separate and separate? Yeah. But they were having that problem also because he's her aide, her home health aide. He is? Yes. Mark Juan? Yes. And he doesn't want to lose that check. He doesn't want her to go. She's been trying to leave. She's fired him. She told him that today. She was supposed to be, you know, going somewhere today. He starts telling her she's not leaving. She starts... What's, what's his... What? Why, why is he her home health aide? Because she was in an accident about a year ago. And for the longest, she's just, you know, rehabilitating. She couldn't even wipe her own ass. Through that, you know, they got into a little love quarrel. Supposedly, they've been together almost a year now, if not a year. Okay. She says it's been hell the whole time. He mistreats her and the kids. He takes her money. A whole bunch of nonsense. That, you know, that's all hypothetical. I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah. What did you witness today? Today, um, 
he just kept telling her he wants to snap her neck and kill her. He pulled out a gun, told her she wasn't leaving. After she ran out the front door and tried to leave, he threw it in his car and tried to break the windows on the car. They were arguing in the bedroom. I intervened and got in the middle. Why did you intervene? What was because he kept getting in her face and threatening to snap her neck. Did he uh, attempt to grab her neck at all? Yes. And when I intervened, we tussled a little bit. He spun me around, slammed me on the bed, and went outside running after her. That was when she took the kids and ran to the car. All right. And did you see him grab anything when he mm -hmm. put you on the tussle? No. I, 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 well, after he threw me on the bed, yeah. he went to the closet. All right. He grabbed his gun and his book bag. Right. And what can you describe this gun to me? In my opinion, it looked it's solid black. Looked roughly about a four or five. Um, it didn't have any attachments. It was standard. I mean, I don't. What was the magazine? Did the magazine look like it was loaded, or is there a magazine in it at all? There was a magazine in it. I don't, I'm not sure if it was loaded. Okay. But it was a standard magazine. It wasn't nothing extra. No, not extended or anything no. like that. No. Okay. Um, have you ever seen him with this gun before? No. So when you, he grabs the gun, what does he do? He just does he, he make just, a threat to you? No, that's when he just ran out the door and started chasing after her. Okay. So when he noticed she was on the phone, and he threw the book bag in the car, he went behind the window and grabbed whatever that thing was, and he kept trying to hit the car. That's when she ran out the car and grabbed him. Okay. That's when I ran and jumped in between them again. I kept telling him, you know, he's on parole, don't go down this path, it's only going to make it worse for him. He kept insisting he didn't care because she broke this TV. Uh, I don't know, I could care less. Did you see them arguing in the, the living room when it first started? Yes, I was actually sitting on the floor shredding paperwork. Okay, and they were arguing, and then did they go into the bedroom? Is that where they yes, they, no, she went to the bathroom because she was in the process of getting dressed so we could leave. Okay. She was on the phone with uh, her oldest son's father. He's in jail. Okay. And um, Marquand starts going on about how she's talking to a child molester. I don't know what. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Okay. So she starts going at him on to, you know, stop talking stuff that he knows no nonsense about. It was weirdo nonsense. He's saying she's cheating on him with someone that's in jail, that's been in jail for the last two years. Uh -huh. Don't make no sense. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of retarded nonsense. They went back and forth from room to room. She kept leaving. He kept following. She, he, she kept telling him, leave me alone. He kept getting in her face. At the point of the punching of the TV, mm -hmm. um, I had just got him out the house. He was supposed to be leaving. Yeah. He comes running back in because something she said, that's when he got in her face again. She kept telling him, get out my personal space. He wouldn't. That's when she punched the TV. Did you see her punch the TV? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. All right. And uh, in that time, does he try to strike her? Or hit yes. Her? That was when I had to jump in between when he threw me on the damn bed. Okay. And then she runs out? Uh, yeah, that's when she ran out the house. And then that's He ran to the closet and started chasing her. All right. Uh, does an altercation happen in the living room after he tries to strangle her? Or tries mm -hmm. to put his hands around her neck? No, that's when they were room? outside after that. After all the spinning of me and all that shit, they were outside. They were outside. Yeah, it was all outside. There was a lot of people out there. I'm surprised you didn't get any other phone calls. Yeah. But, um, yeah, after she called you is when he started, you know, leaving. Picking up the brick? No. Oh, yeah, she called you. He picked up the brick. I'm talking about after all that. Okay. When he's already walking up the side and she's on the phone screaming, whatever okay. the hell she's screaming. So she called after the brick incident? I believe she called, I'm not sure who she was on the phone with. Okay. Because she was on the phone, like, literally the whole time everything was going on. Okay. All right. The whole time she was, on, she, first she was on the phone with her baby father called. After that hung up, she called one of her sisters from her social club. 
she was constantly on the phone, so I can't be sure if it was you guys. It was yeah. yeah, I'm not sure. Now, did you see him physically threaten her with the gun? Or no? I mean, he had it and he said it out loud. I mean, it's not like he was in her face. Or what anything. did he say out loud? He just said, you know, if you leave me, I'm gonna kill you. And he said, if you come back for this shit, it's gonna be what it. What what he say? If you come back for your shit. And shit goes sideways. It is what it is. Okay. So he didn't say I'm gonna shoot you. He just said I'm not, gonna kill you. No, not directly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Were you injured at all during this no. altercation? No. Okay. I mean, I'm in pain because I have sciatica, and he slammed me on the damn bed. But besides the lifting and everything else, no, he didn't harm me at all. And how many times um, did he try to grab her neck? Do you know? Uh, I would say once, once, just the incident in the bedroom. And you were able to break that up? Yes. Did he have his hands on her neck at that time? No. No. He, he kept trying to get me off of him. Okay. So you were just in between trying to mediate? Yes. I pushed her out the way and I kept holding him, bear hugging him. Right. And what room were you guys in? That was in the bedroom. Uh, the master bedroom? Yes. Or the kids bedroom? No, that was in their bedroom. Okay. And that's where you saw him retrieve the gun from? Yes. The closet? Yes. And can you describe what the book bag looked like? It's... Like, did it have, like, a Nike symbol or a... I don't know if it had armor? a name. I just know it's black. Just black? black shiny black. Shiny black. All right, and where did you see him place that bag at? In his, the back seat of his car. The back seat? Yes. All right. On the passenger side. On the passenger side. All right. Did he have the keys with him? Yes. Because he was talking to someone on the phone and he had took his AirPods out of his keys. Okay. I uh, just got two quick questions. When he was going, I know he said he's going to snap her neck. Uh -huh. When he was going towards her neck, did he, first of all, did he threaten to strangle her? Yes. He did well, no, he didn't say strangle. He, he said didn't. snap your neck. Yes. Okay, do you think his intention was to, to stop her from breathing with his hands, or do you think he was pushing at her, in um, your opinion? I mean, do you think he was going to try to strangle her if you weren't there? If I wasn't there, from what I've heard, he's dangled her by her ankles before, so okay. I can't even be sure. To be like honest. feet off the ground? Yes. Okay. And then about the gun. Um, which and that was actually in the last report, because there were holes in the house. Everything had to be fixed. Where was the gun at? You said he grabbed the gun and in the backpack. In his closet. You don't know where in the, in the closet it was? No. Okay. And you saw him grab the gun with his right hand or left hand? Um, I was down on the bed. He would closets over here. Yeah, I can't be sure what hand he did. But, but he ran out of that bedroom with yes, both, both yes. one in each hand, right? The gun was in his right. Gun was in his right. And when did you see him put it in the backpack? No. By so that time I was ha I had to jump off the bed and run after him. That's when they started tussling outside. And when you went out to the front door, you saw him did you see him put the gun in the bag or did you just see him throw the bag in the back of the car? I just seen him open the back passenger, throw it in. Throw the bag in. But you yes. didn't see the gun after you saw no. it in the bedroom? But you're, you're pretty sure it's in that car? Yes. Okay. And Well, I mean, where else would he put Well, unless he walked off with it. Because you said you couldn't find his keys either. No, we couldn't. Well, we that had, sounds you said to you me think like it's he a, put it in that car. Okay. You said you think it's a 45? Yeah, it was like big. It, it, it was, was pretty big. big. So you've seen a 45? Yes. I've like semi-automatic or a revolver? I've a couple guns in my life. Was it a revolver or a semi-automatic? Uh, no, it was a semi-auto, okay. regular standard clip. Okay. No revolver. No. Okay. You know, have you ever seen types of guns? Yes. Like a Glock or yes. a uh, Sig Sauer? It was real square Sig Sauer's. You know, when I get my license is what I want. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's real square at the top. Right. So okay. does it look like a Glock? If you're not sure, it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, you're fine. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to lock you into a type of gun. It's just no. Yeah, no. <laughs> we want to know if he did have one, where we're gonna, what we're looking for, that's oh, all. okay. Yeah, no. I just know it's black. I don't have anything else. All right. Um, is there anything else that you feel that is important to this statement that you would want to add? Not really. Okay. Has everything you told me tonight been the truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes, sir. Would you be willing to testify in the court of law to the statement you provided? I mean, if I have to. All right. No threats or promises were made to give this statement today? No. Right. And this statement was given at your own free will of the court? Yes, sir. All right. Time of end statement is 16, 21 hours.
Sherlock, hold on. 